Hey guys, here's Candace. Welcome back. Okay, I know number three of my personal semi-naked <laughs> journal challenge. So this one, I put some blue lace on the spine, some couple little sequins on there. I didn't want to cover the bird up, so I put grommets and some sari silk on the side, and I put the little round reinforcer of the paper just to give a little extra oomp oomp. Okay, so let's let's get some flipping on here. So hope y'all are doing okay. Woohoo! I know I need to resituate my stuff. So this is still using Summer's Bounty Journal, and um, I don't know what we're gonna call this one. We'll make up a name as we go. So <coughs> here's our little pocket and our little journal card. Yes, I have a cough drop, and yes, I just started coughing when I came down here. Something in this basement. <coughs> Crud. All right, so then this, I know. Should have did this with you, but I was trying to get this done. So this is a flip up. A flip out. It's got some yarn in the side. Another flip up, and then a journal and spot there. And this flips out again, so there's room for you to put... You know, your own taste in here, some more journaling paper, coffee dye paper. And then I have this little belly band with some coffee dye paper on the back. A little journal card from the kit that goes in there. So there's that one. And then we have this one, the little flowers that I made. I put another little flower on here. And then a little tag from the kit with some sequins. Woohoo! I know, I had to put some bling bling in there. And then this one, you know, even though it's a bird garden, well, the bird's stealing something from the garden, but, you know, he's got to live, too. So, I put some chickens, because you have to have some chickens in your bird garden. And then this is just an off-cut, and I thought that was cute. And then these are two of the little um, journal cards from the ephemera kit, and then the little chicken I know, I had to put him in there too because, you know, chicken, chicken. <clears throat> but chickens love vegetables. And then we have this pocket that we did, you know, on, on another journal. But um, this one, we have this little tag that we made. <clears throat> and then this one that um, we did with the fingernail polish and then some distress marker, which is this shabby shutter, just because this has got a lot of you know, blues, greens, and oranges in there. Well, and then reds. I mean, just, it's got just colors. I know. And then we have this little pocket with these little tags and labels. All right. And then I did this little <coughs> side tuck pocket with one of the journal cards. Put one of the, the little decorative scroll labels. I love that one. And then just stamped with some music stamp. A little tab on there some flowers from oh darn it <coughs> hold on it's over here I didn't put it up <coughs> or didn't dig it too far oh set one from the mega flowers kit and then some um, gold tulip paint with of course the fingernail polish that I just put on top of it so it's not sticky see doesn't stick to anything so and then this is just a top coat um, fast gel you know, lasting, wear, high shine, fast drying. So I figured that would, you know, I don't know, just whatever. But that's what I use. I don't know where I got it. Possibly Walmart. I don't know. But it's not letting me down. And then I just, you know, did our little um, tabs like um, we had did on the folders and put them on here, some washi. Put some wash on the back so you wouldn't see the bookmarks. I mean, the book pages back there. <clears throat> I did decorate this envelope. And so this is the card. I know I had showed you this one before. And um, that was my, my little jail cell. Remember? Yeah, I remember that now. <laughs> I was talking about my little jail. And then I made a jail card. <coughs> and then this is our a double little tuck pocket up top. So it has like a little... A little journal card with um, one of the ephemera pieces. This is what chickens love to eat too, you know. 
<laughs> just in case, you know, I had to tie them little chickens in. And then there's some other little journaling, um, little labels in a little ticket. And then we did this together. It's got a little note, notepad paper in it, which fits perfect in these long altered envelopes. And then just some little tags, labels, and then um, this little off cut I had that I just put some other little cute decos on it. You know, we had to put a little bird in there. And then just put um, some little femurs and one of our little labels on there. And then this is um, a page I did for this book. Just, you know, pulling in some of the oranges and the birds and put a little bee because he was coming to the flowers too, you know. And then the bird might be trying to get the bee. I don't know. He might be wanting the flowers. We'll see. I know this one's a little busy, but it has all kinds of good stuff in there. So let's just take some things out so you can see. <laughs> this is the overlay of the overlay. And then we put a ticket on here to make it. We folded it over to make a little tab on here. So this is a journal and card, a piece of ephemera. Like I said, these are all printed on 65 pound, pound paper. You know what I mean. Burn, burn, burn. I don't know why I can't never. They're not snug, but I just can't never get them in. <coughs> then this is just um, some of the um, Facebook freebies. I think number four or three. I'm not sure which one. There were so many of them. I know. There was so much to play with. It's not snug, I swear. When you get it, you'll see. I just can't put them in. And then I just took this tag and just kind of covered up the words that were on here with another label. And then just put one of the little tabs that were in the kit in there. Put um, Backed it with some coffee dye. And that's that page. One of the little flowers I made. And then I did this one. I know I did it by myself. <clears throat> so I was just trying to use some little other parts and pieces. So I took this um, large oval of this little bird, put some um, circle punches, the small one. Well, actually, it's a medium <clears throat> from the three-hole one, which is Paper Studio. So it's the medium size. And then put a sequin in the middle so it kind of looks like little rivets or something. And then just some ephemera pieces from the, um, the kit. I know, that other little apple, the watermelon, the rose and a little coupon and so that just filled that up cute and then we just I did this one on this page just with um this is the large mega bird kit from the junk journal studio like I said everything in here is 95 percent junk journal studio as far as digitals and stuff goes and then um this is just the circle from there and then the large little journal card I mean tab ticket Ugh. So I just thought that would be cute in there. <clears throat> <clears throat> Lots of room for you to put stuff in. I know. Plenty of plenty, plenty room for you to fill it up with your your goodness and goodies. And then just this little girl and her watering can. And then we did this together. And then this is just a piece of the off cut that I had. I cut it, folded it, inked it, and made it just a little note card that goes in here. I know I'm about to walk myself out of the frame make sure yep okay and then I just took um, one of the larger mushroom labels put it on the side for a little tuck spot put some ephemera pieces and some washies and stuff and just turn that into just a plain little tag and then we did this this is a journal card that we turned into a right tuck pocket and then this is some of the off cut of the Facebook freebie and this one too and we just I decorated that I had showed you those a while back I know there's so much it all they all run together because they're similar but they're but they're not the same and then we have this large seed packet with the tired woman I know she's tired I don't blame her and then a large journal tag that went with it. I just um, did a small little collage on the back. And then some antique linen up there. Some fabric goes in there. 
some washies and all that good stuff. This little flip out. And then we have this little pocket. This is just a large journal card from the kit. And this is one that we had made before when we did our mass make. And then we have our little double side tuck with our little garden notes journal card. And then some little little chickens. We had um, did that before. Okay. And then this large one. We, you know, did these in the um, other journals, but, you know, they all look different. This is the one that I accidentally took this and went down here and then tried to cover it. Then realized I didn't really need to cover it. And, oh, whatever. And then this is just, um, like I said, all these are printed on 65-pound paper. So this is from the kit that we turned our library card into a pocket. And then just some of the large... A label and tag and then this large journal card that um, it's just kind of plain but there's room for you to do other things to it this is from the Facebook freebies and so and then we put one of the little butterflies on there from the kit and it just you know goes and then this is our center signature and then I did this tree charm and these um seed beads on here, glass beads, they're not really seed beads, they're glass beads, so seed beads are smaller. I don't know why I call them that, but I do. And then we have this little, just simple little tag from the kit with some sorry silk on top, it matches our tie, and then this little one, like I said, feel free to change anything out once you get it, put a little label here and a lab little label there, here label there, later. Some of the blueberries, because you know the birds are like, yeah. And he said, as soon as he's hiding that little acorn, he's coming right back to get those blueberries. Yep, sure is. And then, like I said, just plenty of either journaling or other pages for you to put all of your your goodies that you that you make or have seen or inspired other people. That other people inspired you. Fill it up. And then this is our double um, belly band. It, this one came in the kit, but I had some green and white gingham that goes with what was on the paper, so I put it on top with our little fabric snippets. And then this is, I, I love this mushroom card, so this is just a journal card from um, the kit, so it goes, put it there. And then this is one that we just added a label and some Nouveau drops on. And then we have this pocket that we did out of a... Here's, I got extra <laughs> Quaker oatmeal, maple and brown sugar. Yeah, like weeks ago when, when it was cool, and then it got hot again, and now it's cool again, so I'll be having some extra of these. But anyway, so I used um, labels from the, um, the kit, and then this is, you know, an off-cut piece of the Facebook freebie, and then I just did a small little collage with some items, backed it on coffee dye so that goes in the very back because it's a it's a double pocket well actually triple pocket three I know one two three one two three Ooh, I can count to three I know anyway so we have this bountiful little tag that was in the kit I just put some you know more blue sorry and then backed it with some other graph paper and like I said there's more there's plenty of room to put more and then just some of the little tags and some other little definition word and a little ticket and like, I mean, just, whew, I can't, whenever you get these and you do some stuff to them, send some pictures to our um, Facebook group and let us see what you've done to the pages. So this is a, a tuck pocket up here for you to put stuff in. Fill that bad boy up there. There's room on this side for a pocket and there's room for you to decorate some more. And this is a cinnamon roasted butternut squash which Michelle from the Junk Journal Studio says all of the um, recipes in the kit you could actually make if you'd like so you know this one might have to try because it sounds pretty good well for one it has cinnamon in it and but it's got rosemary that's interesting so and maple syrup hmm interesting but I would I'm, I will try it. I have to, if someone tries it before me, let me know, but I'm going to try that. Anyway, <laughs> this is our other library card that we just used to put a tab on top and then a little tuck spot out of the <coughs> <clears throat> little picture 
ephemera piece, and then we just have some ticket and a large journal card label. And then a little fabric snippet. This is um, graph paper that's backed with um, deli paper. This is the writing side. The, the glossier side is on the inside, so that way you can write on here. And then um, I just made another little tab, you know, like before, and turned that into a little side tuck pocket. Because, <clears throat> you know, that's the only way you're going to get me to touch a pee is in this journal. Oh, and then I took these three and made a, um, a banner tuck, and it's just, I put them, I glued them together, so it's just one, and uh, I know, I want to be different, and actually that was an oops, but oh well, it was still usable, and so I just took um, this large postcard from the kit, backed it with some coffee dye paper, and then put one of the definitions across, just to look like we're holding the banners down, not that Candace glued it by mistake, but anyway, it's still cute and pretty. Some washies. And then <coughs> this little page we did together. And I just put those on there just to, you know, brighten up the page. Plus, I had tons. I still have a lot of this left. I'm up to. Oh, yeah. Anyway. <coughs> so then this one, this is the little part of the envelope. That, um, that was in here. So I took and did a extra large, oh, that's the four by six, which was too small. So this is, I think, five by eight. You know, the, the big Bahama Mama ones. Yeah, five by eight. Folded it in half. And then this is one of the regular index card, the graph cards that I folded in half. And then took another one, bent it like to here, scored it, and then so that part's glued underneath here so it flips. So you can write here, right here, right there, and then turn that one into a little um, tuck pocket. Pocket, top loading pocket, yeah. Oh, I just had a, a stinking Ludens. That's all I had was that. There's nothing in there, but anyway. And then I took the watermelon seed pack, put it on the back, and just um, put a little label on here, stamped it, put some ribbon on top, rounded the bottom corners. Oh, well, see, I got that one in there good. I fought with it last night. I mean, good grief. Put a little more washi to pull in, you know, some of the raspberry reddish colors to go with the watermelon. And then I left this open for you to play with. If you watched my other videos, you will know what to do with them. And I signed it. And then this, I just put three of the little hole punches red on here just to kind of, because there's red over here, you know, just to tie the pages in. And then this little watermelon tag, made a little side tuck, put one of the flowers I made and a little sequin on top. This is for you to play with, do what you want to do. Then I did these back here put three different color sequins on here, the sparkle sequins, some Nouveau drops, and some twine that I used a little tiny attacher on there. So it stayed with the country, the barn look, you know, with the sack and all that. And then just put another little mushroom on here. And this is the back. So now you say, well, what is this one all about? Well, y'all know I made my 850, so this is my surprise, my giveaway. So I need you to comment. Please subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Help me get up to the next one, to the to the thousand. I mean, I'm getting there. Come on, y'all. Please, please, please. And um, so thank you very much. Just comment and comment somewhere 895 because that's what my numbers are. And we're going to have the drawing Thursday, 929 at 10 p.m. Central Time. And that is going to be for this this journal. Now, my only problem is, I know, my international people. You know it's going to cost $30 to mail this. So, if you're okay with splitting the difference with me, I know, I don't know if that's fair or not, but that's the only way I know how to be fair because I wish it wouldn't cost so much, but it does. But if it's cheaper than that, then, you know, we'll, I'll give you the difference back. But, it's a good pound, 
and it's you know pretty thick so it's definitely going to have to go as a package for international so if you're okay with that then comment the $8.95 and then just let me know that you're okay with that um, that's really the only way I know how to be fair because um, I you know I have some great people that are out there <clears throat> that watch that are international and if you think it's worth spending $15 to help split the cost of shipping then like I said please do your comment and like I said don't forget to put $8.95 in your comment and um, something crazy $8.95 chickens I don't know $8.95 acorns just something funny and um, we will do the drawing and um, good luck to whoever wins her and she is I love her I love her, love her, love her, and I need to make sure, I need to do this some more on my things, just because, you know, it helps reinforce your little grommet hole and everything, so, but, that is my third semi-naked personal challenge to make these things, and I can, can't even tell you how much more of this kit that I have left, but I'm going to move on to something else, <laughs> but I need to put it all together. I'm going to play with it. And then I'm going to have, I think I have two other little things. I'm just going to mess with it on the side and then show you and then all that fun stuff. And then I think I'm probably going to have to do um, some, some happy mail soon after I make up some of the stuff that's on here. So once I get, you know, a little ahead of the game. So, but all right, enough. I beat So Hi guys thanks for putting up with me thanks for everything thanks for sharing your days with me and thank you for your comments and thank you to all you people who you know who are loyal and truly comment all the time y'all are I mean the bomb I need to I need to send you like a committed subscriber friend happy mail maybe I'll put that on the I'll write it around the envelope next time I have to remember that so <laughs> enough rattling I was just trying to stretch this out a little bit more so anyway oh I can show you um, a new thing I got even though I really have no intentions of using doing a Halloween one because it's it's just too much nobody really likes it or appreciates it so I'm just gonna do some autumn ones I got to do Emily's thing but I did get this and because I like the stencil so I thought this would be good for a lot of stuff and I like that little splatter sp um, I see that on a few people who use them. And then I liked all these other little things. So, you know, I, I figured it was worth it. And um, I mean, I've had it for a couple of weeks, but I've been meaning to share it with you. So, so I'm just was showing you that. So I can add them to my little stencil kit and my, my other little stuff. Ooh, now I've got sticky on here. Yak. All right. So now I'm just running. Oh, hey. This little birdie says, hey. Oh, he says, thank you. Put in your comment. And you have until Thursday, 929 at 10 p.m. And we will do a drawing. And my cousin will get drawn. And he will fly to your house. Okay, so I know now I've gone crazy. So, all right. I will see y'all later. Thanks for everything. Thanks for your love. Thanks for all of your support. And lots of kisses, lots of love. Y'all have a great day and a blessed day. And good luck. And here we go. All right. Bye, guys.